Hi hi everyone and welcome to Eden's Secret. Today we're actually making a soap um, that is a follow-up from a video we did yesterday on how to make an excellent soap scraper with a laminator. So if you want to watch that video just click the information card in the top right hand corner so you can see how I made the scraper and then you can come back to this video. Or if you just want to watch this video without learning how to make the scraper, just stick around. So we're going to be using some titanium dioxide today. You'll need a squeezy bottle that I've, I haven't cut the end off the squeezy bottle, but I've cut the end off a pipette and I've pushed the pipette down onto the squeezy bottle. I've cut a bit off the end of the pipette because I want the raindrops to be bigger than they would be if we hadn't cut it off. So that's why you cut the end off. It gives you a bigger hole, which will in turn give you a larger raindrop. So uh, we're using Australian eucalyptus oil today and French lavender. You can't beat French lavender, it's absolutely beautiful. I'm not a huge lavender lover, I'm much more of a rose girl, um, but French lavender is just warmer and nicer, not as medicinal as regular lavender is. Um, we're also using, because obviously the dot mandala soap that we made the other day um, had three gorgeous colours in it um, as well as other colours but they looked so beautiful with titanium dioxide that I said in that video I'm gonna my next soap's gonna be uh, those colours so we've got white fluorescent pink and blue ribbon from TKB Trading or TBK you know why I always get mixed up with that because there was a bit a merger I don't know if it was in the 70s or whatever and I used to like to watch lots of murder mysteries um, and TBK always sticks in my head but I think it's TKB 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 trading isn't it uh, to where you can buy colours so that's what we're actually using today it's that beautiful hyacinth blue which is probably predominantly aqua, aquamarine blue. Uh, so let's get to making some soap, shall we? The essential oils are from Mystic Moments. And if you're interested in purchasing any of our soaps, there's a link in the description box below to my website, www.edensecret.co. Okay, so I've already mixed up my lyes with my oil and I'm going to add some titanium dioxide into the whole batch. And now we're going to divide this batter. Now I think the loaf mould I'm using today takes three kilos of soap, but I can't quite remember. So what I've done is I've just mixed up a full batch, a regular batch like I usually do. But the recipe in the description probably will be a three kilo batch. Uh, but once I've um, poured this, then I'll know how much uh, soap has gone into it. So I'm thinking my first layer will need to be about two kilos. So I'm going to do a kilo and a half in this container and half a kilo in this container. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want a bit of a, an in the pot swell for the first layer. So 
So the sky is going to be the blue, the hyacinth blue, and there'll be white raindrops, and the clouds on the top are going to be like a pink in the in the pop swirl. So I'm going to put more colour in this smaller container here just to give us a bit of contrast on the the swirl and then not as much in this side I'm going to keep blending this side until I've got the desired colour that I want because I don't want it to be too dark That's absolutely gorgeous that colour. I love it so much. Because the bowl is shallower, it can make a lot more bubbles when you put your blender in. That's just so pretty, isn't it? So your maximum usage level of lavender and eucalyptus is 3%. I'm just hoping it doesn't seize. Sometimes lavender can thicken up quite fast. I'm just praying that it won't because it will really spoil, spoil the design because it needs to stay fluid in your mould so you can dribble your raindrops in there but looks it's looking okay so far it's going to be gorgeous this just taking as much care over that um making your scraper is the most important part So I wonder if I should pour this blue into there so we get a deeper blue on the bottom. Yeah, sounds like a good idea to me. If we get a deeper blue on the bottom and then it lends itself, the higher up it gets, the lighter the blue gets. Okay, so let's go in with that first lot of blue, shall we? And now I think what I'll do is I'll add the the dark blue to the light blue doing this definitely works much better with a tall and skinny mould than it does with a, a short and fat mould. Like owner, like moulder, short and fat are tall and skinny. I always want to be tall and skinny, don't I? But I'm not. I think 
you could have done with a bit more blue in, actually. Oh, that's a bit weird. Yeah, we do need more blue in because we need to scrape this layer. So two kilos wasn't enough. I need at least another half a kilo in there, so I'll mix some more up. the scraper we made it needs to go down into the stalk soap to be able to scrape it off doesn't it So it's still nice and loose and that means we'll be able to get our raindrops in there absolutely fine and dandy. Because when I've done the raindrops design in the past, um, I've actually done it with just a flat colour on each layer. Uh, this time I'm doing it in the pot swell for each layer. Okay, so we're going to just tip the squeezy bottle. I've got a squeezy bottle that I've put some of the white into. And I'm just going to try and get not right onto the bottom i don't want any of the raindrops to touch the bottom of the soap but if they do hey ho it's no big disaster but i don't want that so let's all we need to do is tip it up put this in in the soap and just go backwards and forwards along the soap and it's amazing how just doing that makes raindrops in your soap That's the first layer of the raindrops in. So the second layer, I think I'll take those clips off. This time I'm going to lift the bottle up higher and then we'll get some raindrops on a different level. Then we're going to 
going to let this soap get a bit thicker until it's ready to scrape. It's pointless putting any raindrops any higher because I'm going to scrape some of the soap off. I don't really want to scrape the raindrops but it could be that some of them do get scraped. So I'm just going to clean up while that's thickening up. Alright, I think it's time for a scrape. So let's go in with the scraper. Oh, it's at the perfect stage for scraping as well. Oh, you need to see what I'm doing here. So we've got our pink. We've just doubled it up colour-wise. Just give it a little bit of a swirl. And then we're going to start popping that in the malt. I wonder if I should put some more in there because I kind of don't want to run low and have to try and mix some more. I think this part you need to be rather gentle with, just spooning it in gently so you don't ruin um, the scrape that you've just done. So this is typical of one of those wonderful warm summer nights in the Lake District. I'm sure you get them wherever you are in the world where the sky turns a beautiful violet colour and the clouds are just shining pink instead of white or yellow or orange or, or whatever. But I love that. It's, I think it's the twilight hour. So you want to push it down so that it fits very well into your, the scrape that you've just done. And then because it's like a tall and skinny and we need the clouds coming up over the top, over the height of the mould. I need to pile the soap batter up on the top and keep piling it up and then when we scrape it we won't need to add extra and have another go but I think it's going to be about two centimeters higher than it should be so the soap bar itself will probably end up at the height at 12 centimeters I wonder if it can scrape now. Shall we try? So there's the scraper for the top. Again, if you haven't seen the video for this. Oh, I need to make sure it's a... Oh, I don't know which way around it is. You can actually see how high it is. So we need to get soap butter well and truly piled up. go in for the first scrape of oh, course so we need to fill all these little lost blebs and crevices we need to fill those in
wonder whether I dare just go backwards and forwards across the top. Oh, I mean, that is working brilliantly, though. Absolutely superb. Just what I wanted. Just going to give it one last scrape and then... Well, it probably won't be one last scrape, will it? It's never one last scrape. That's the last scrape. Look how pretty. It looks gorgeous unmoulded, doesn't it? Gosh, I just had a horrible thought that I could have actually cut this um made it too high it might not even fit in this uh cutter oh gosh just say uh, we've got a few raindrops in there I wonder if I could have done with more. It's a very, very high soap. Uh, we're not far through it yet, so let's see what we get. That's just a slither off the end. But the raindrops have worked out cute. And the whole loaf uh, actually weighs 3.8 kilos. So it's quite heavy. I'm cutting this at two and a half centimetres because I just want to see um, what weight each bar is at that. 190. So that's just about right. That is so pretty, isn't it? to say it smells really really interesting uh, fairly masculine actually uh, but very very nice I'm loving it they remind me remind me I don't know why like of gravestones <laughs> so probably a good shape to do uh, for Halloween but look how beautiful those swirls are. Just little drops of raindrops here and there. Look at that one. It's absolutely magnificent. They're all magnificent. And that's it for another video. I'll see you all very, very soon for another video from me, Karen Morland, here at Eden Secret. Bye-bye for now.